My name's Raj and I'm here to introduce and raise awareness about the mathematical physics course offered at the University of Nottingham. So I'm going into my third year of mathematical physics and I think it's a viable option for people like me who enjoy the mathematical side of physics. Now I really like physics and I applied to do theoretical physics but what I found was that I wasn't getting satisfied mathematically because there's no rigour, there's no, you know, there's no eccentricity behind the maths that I'm doing. I'm looking for elegance. I'm looking to understand and how to derive this equation from very first principles. I'm looking to go from the foundation upwards and then apply that maths within the physics problems that I'm encountering within my degree. Now, originally I didn't get that and I really do like the theory of experiments, but I don't necessarily enjoy doing the experiments at all because I'm a lazy person and moving around and touching dials and thermometers and things like that, it bores me. So sitting down and understanding the theory of experiments and how they work is brilliant. That's why mathematical physics exists as a degree. It's for people like me who want a more mathematical context to the physics problems that they're doing. An example of the modules that we do are advanced quantum theory, relativity and quantum field theory. All three of them are offered by the maths department, which can blow some people's minds, but you need a strong mathematical foundation to understand them in the first place. That's why maths offer them. So for me, to be able to do them and understand it from a mathematical context, it's brilliant. Now, you can transfer into mathematical physics at an early stage in your degree, if you're in a maths or physics degree, but beware that might not be possible later on. Also, if you're in a mathematical physics degree and you go through your first year and you realise, no, I don't want to do that anymore, you can change into a maths or physics degree at the end, but you can't change into mathematical physics without doing that first year. So the requirements we ask for is an A star, an A and an A, with the A star being in maths or physics and an A being obviously in maths or physics. We don't require further maths. It does help to, to, a, to an extent, but you know, everyone's caught up. All the further maths content that is required for you to do your degree will be covered and you will be on the same page as every single person in that room, in that lecture theatre, by Christmas. 